Do you know how to change your Roku privacy settings? More importantly, do you know why you should? If you've never viewed Roku's privacy settings, you might not realize all that they track. If privacy is important to you, you'll want to know what Automatic Content Recognition, or ACR, is and how to change your Roku privacy settings to bring them more in line with your preferences. In this connected world, it's more important than ever to know what's being tracked about you and what options you have to opting out of some of that on your Roku streaming device. Let's dive into what Roku tracks and how to change your Roku settings. First, we'll show you how to access the hidden Roku settings that control your ad tracking preferences. Then, we will discuss how to access these settings on our Roku TV. Now, these aren't truly hidden, they're just buried a bit, which may make some people think of them as Roku hidden settings. From the home screen, navigate down to settings on the left side menu. Click it, then navigate down to privacy and click that. From there, click Advertising, then check the box to limit ad tracking. As Roku says, clicking this box will stop Roku from delivering personal ads to you on your Roku device. This Roku setting will also stop Roku from sharing data about what you watch on your streaming channels on your Roku device. If you click the asterisk button, you can read more information from Roku about personalized ads and measurement. As you'll read, Roku tells you that even when you program your Roku this way, you are not truly guaranteed to stop receiving personalized ads. Yeah, so what does this mean? Well, it means that Roku will tell channel providers that you prefer they not use advertising identifiers, so data about what you watch, where, and when, but it's just a preference. Channel providers can decide whether or not they want to honor your request. There's more explanation here of what data Roku collects on you. Roku has a lengthy privacy policy, which you can read by scrolling to the bottom of this ad tracking message and clicking Privacy Policy, or by clicking the link below to view Roku's privacy policy online. But basically, like streaming providers and services, they track just about everything they can about what you like to watch. Then, they share that data with advertisers so they can show you personalized ads that they think you will be interested in. Advertisers can also create profiles about you and track what you watch through different streaming services and devices over time. This data includes information about what ads you interact with. This data informs the ads you see on live TV streaming services through cable and even over the air through an antenna. Everything is connected today and increasingly informed by more and more specific personal data. Another step you can take is with your Roku TV settings. If you have a Roku TV instead of a device and the more ways to watch feature is enabled, you will need to perform a device factory reset on your TV to remove the ad tracking preference. Another one of the Roku settings to change is to reset your advertising identifier. Doing so will clear and replace your unique, non-permanent ad identifier associated with your Roku device with a new one. And this is sort of like clearing your cache. The identifier used up to the point you reset it will go away, but it will be replaced with a new one that will again start tracking your usage behaviors. It's something you can do as often as you like as an additional privacy protection measure. Resetting your advertising identifier is easy. From the home screen, click Settings, then Privacy, then Advertising, then click Reset Advertising Identifier. Yeah, and remember, you can do this as often as you like. Another one of the Roku features that may be impacting your privacy is the microphone feature that you can use for voice search. Consumer Reports recommends opting out of allowing Roku to access the microphone on your Roku remote or your smartphone. From the Privacy menu, click Microphone, and then choose the Prompt or Never Allow option to prevent channels from accessing the microphone on your remote and gaining insight into what you watch that way. Taking the time to dig through Roku hidden features like this or reading through the Privacy Policy is really eye-opening. Beyond privacy settings, if you're wanting to get the most out of your Roku streaming device, you can watch our Roku Tips and Tricks video. It's easy to forget that free or cheap streaming is really built on data collection. Advertisers want to know as much as they can about you and your preferences so they can target you with effective ads that persuade you to buy what they're selling. Unfortunately, the only way to avoid this entirely is to unplug from the grid. Since you're watching this on YouTube, that's probably not an option for you. All the major streaming devices and smart TVs collect this kind of information about you. Being smart doesn't have to mean unplugging from the internet. It does mean limiting what you can and understanding how marketing works. 
Remember that you are constantly being sold to. Keep your personal financial goals and budget in mind and let your goals and knowledge of your financial situation guide your purchasing decisions. Well, that does it for this video. Let us know what you think about the data that is collected on you by streaming services and channel providers. Does it bother you? What steps have you taken to limit ad tracking on your smart devices? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.